All right, guys, I was pretty happy with the way that lesson went. Uh, let me get back these tests, and then we'll discuss them. Guys, watch this. 84. 84. 86. 86. Average <laughs> 52. 52. 86. 86. Man. There's no way you could have guessed all those, right? Like, either you saw it ahead of time or you just got lucky. You don't, you're just jealous you don't have his power. I wouldn't even call it a power. Like, you can see five seconds in the future. I wouldn't call that all that special. It's incredibly special. Do you remember that one time when... Mr. Hart is about to run out of his classroom wearing a wizard cloak and a crazy hat. And he's gonna run around the corner and yell yippee. Yippee! Uh, Mr. Hart was off his meds. And he has a wardrobe, that's nothing special. How could anyone guess that? It was so specific. Saved by the bell. He can't do it. Yes, he can. We've seen him do it multiple times. I thought he loves sweet chicken. How would he know that? Even if he can do it, anyone can just look on the school website and find out. Our school has a website? Since when? Dude, it's been there for years. Now you've been defending me and all, but that's the dumbest thing I've heard all week. No, whatever. At the end of the day, he still has the magic power. Do you remember that other time when he predicted the future? All right, guys, today, I'm going to show you a video that will help you further understand the inner workings of Shakespeare's mind. Believe it or not, Mr. Hart's going to play compilation cat videos instead of whatever you just said he was going to play. Yeah, right. <laughs> Hold on. This isn't, I, I don't know how this got here. Just a second. This is not Shakespeare. They are pretty cute, though. What? Yeah, he could still see the teacher's computer. Like, he was just lucky. It doesn't prove anything. It just sounds like you're J-E-A-L-O-U-S jealous, man. Whatever. It doesn't prove anything. Can you prove something so I can prove Eli wrong? I don't know how him predicting one thing is going to prove me wrong, but okay. Alright, well, they're gonna drop the weights. Sorry! Oh. Steve, what did I tell you? That's just a coincidence. It doesn't prove anything. So everything is a coincidence now. Come on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Do you even remember that time when. Guys, Jeremy's about to pass out. No way, that kid's always super awake. He has like four coffees every morning. He's gonna fall asleep in three, two, Liam, you never fail to amaze me. Uh, thanks. Well, obviously I'm gonna yell at him. Yeah, but how could anyone predict that Jeremy would fall asleep? Exactly. So it sounds like I won. How do you do it? It's not some big coincidence. How do you do it? It's just a feeling I get, I guess. Well, I guess I lose, but at least I'm not the one with the mustard stain on my shirt. <laughs> Got gotcha. you. No, I. What do you, you have been, to say about that? You've been lying to me all day. I, 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 I can't even believe I trusted you. Looks like you finally won, Eli. At least I don't actually have mustard on my shirt. Huh? Ah, <sighs> uh, well. I may look stupid now, but at least this whole seeing the future thing is over, and I think that's a bigger win. I should probably go apologize to Noah before he never talks to me again. Wanna help? Yeah, I know what I want. Why not?